Century after century, we have had geniuses who have contributed one way or another to our current level of advancements. Not many people know it, but the ancient people built several ancient technologies, and more than a few of them will leave you speechless with wonder. We're about to explore some of them in this video, but before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. It's time to go back in time. Like Hergis Cup, it's not so strange to see an object that changes its color based on light reflections. But the Lycurgus cup remains the only ancient artifact that can do this smoothly. With origins from ancient Rome, this cup is naturally an opaque green color, but changes into semi-transparent red color when light shines through its glass. And when we say ancient Rome, we're talking as far back as the 4th century. So how is this possible? Well, the Lycurgus cup is made out of tiny particles of colloidal silver and gold color in the dichroic glass. You can also find this impressive technology on the windows of old church cathedrals that give off a lot of beautiful colors from reflected light. Of course, many people back then didn't understand how impressive this technology was, but they were still able to apply it to other cool objects. Heron's Ball and Robot A lot of people may think that the dive into robotics started a few decades ago, but its roots go back way earlier than that. All thanks to Heron of Alexandria, a Greek engineer and mathematician. Close to 2,000 years ago, Heron decided that it would be an amazing idea to create a three-wheeled carriage for different theatrical performances. This was no simple carriage as it had complex systems of ropes and a counterweight to slow down a falling weight. With this, the carriage could move independently when the ropes wrapped around the stakes. It could move in pretty much any direction and hammering in the stakes took it backward. But this robot wasn't the only thing that Heron built. He also invented Heron's Ball, a device that could have started the Industrial Revolution at least 1,500 years earlier. This wasn't a football, but the first ever steam engine in history. The ball had two curved nozzles and leading to it were two other tubes where water heated up and the vapor flowed into the ball. This vapor came through both ends and turned the ball. At first, you would think this was just a little gimmick, but it was that steam engine prototype that had the power to change the course of our history if people of the ancient world had found a practical use for it. Yak Chal It's no secret that discomfort gives birth to innovation, and many of our ancestors were in search of a better way to preserve their food. Just as many of us can't do without freezers and refrigerators, they already worked on something similar more than 2,000 years ago in Persia. The search for a solution gave birth to Yak Chal. This wasn't just a freezer you could squeeze into the corner of your kitchen, but a huge dome-like cold room as large as 5,000 cubic meters. This room would be filled with ice from the mountain. The success of this ancient technology starts from the materials used to construct the room. These were goat hair, clay, sand, and ash, which had heat repellent effects. Then, a wind catcher and shadow casting wall were available to add more coldness to the room. In this dome, users could keep frozen food in here for several summer months, and it wouldn't go bad. Hal Salfellini Hypogeum Every bit of the Hell Salfellini Hypogeum was impressive as this structure built almost 4,000 years ago was a typical underground temple complex that would leave you speechless. Located in Malta, it stands today as the only completely preserved site from the Neolithic times. The Hell Salfellini Hypogeum was where people buried their dead and used it as a sanctuary. But this wasn't just any graveyard. The Oracle Chamber had particularly exceptional acoustics due to the chamber of being made of solid limestone. It made every word louder than today's speakers, with every sound amplified at least 100 times more. People could hear things across the temple. Apart from the cool aesthetics, it's possible that this was done intentionally to influence the psyche of the people. It was a great way to add to the mystical ritual experiences, especially as you would find it more intense at a frequency of 110 Hz. These sounds had the power to change people's empathy, social behavior, and moods an ancient technology that was far more advanced for its time. Roman Concrete Although concrete was first produced in the 19th century, this was not the first building material to come into existence. About 2,000 years ago, the long-forgotten Roman concrete, which is several times better than our regular concrete, was in existence. Although the recipe is almost the same, the major difference between these building materials is that the Roman concrete had volcanic ash mixed in gypsum, clay, and limestone. The volcanic ash was important in making the production environmentally friendly and save more energy. All cement produced from this concrete mixture was also better protected from the spread of cracks in the building and the ingress of water. It was a win-win on all fronts. Instead of getting weak due to age, the Roman concrete made buildings stronger over time. 
and that's why we have buildings like the Pantheon and Colosseum standing tall. Even material researchers today are using this as a base to improve the composition of modern concrete. Metal coatings Industrial processes were alive during ancient times, and we see this in how craftsmen and artists use extremely thin metal coatings to save on expensive materials and increase the durability of their buildings. No doubt about it, they didn't understand the science behind it as much as the researchers today that have a lot of tools at their disposal, but they did an amazing job with the limited knowledge. These ancient people created a mercury-like glue that was used to apply thin coatings on any object easily. The craftsmen and blacksmiths also show their knowledge of metalwork with the iron pillar of King Chandragupta II, Vikram Maditya. The building still stands in Delhi, India, despite being more than 15,000 years old. No doubt about it, this is one of the oldest metal monuments in the world. Several centuries later, this metal edifice is still in excellent condition, showing the expertise of these Indian blacksmiths in processing iron. It was more than just casting the monument. Instead, these blacksmiths used a complex fire welding process, which was limited by the little material available at the time. However, this helped to protect the monument from rustling thanks to a thin protective layer created by reactions between humidity, oxygen in the air, phosphorus and iron. This reaction produced iron hydrogen phosphate hydrate, where oxygen and moisture could not penetrate at all. And this is the science behind a column that is 20,000 years old and still stands without any rust. Chinese Seismoscope Knowing how to measure the tremors of an earthquake and spread important information has saved countless lives over the years. And this can be done using a seismometer to gain insights into the strength of the shock and lots of other valuable data. However, the basic principle of this device was invented several years before our time. Almost 20,000 years ago, in fact, a Chinese astronomer known as Zhang Heng put together a bronze seismoscope that had eight dragons looking in different directions and sitting on an urn each. Then, there were also eight copper toads with open mouths surrounding the dragons that had a copper ball in their mouths as well. Every time there was an earthquake in China, a ball would fall from a dragon's mouth into a toad's mouth, and this would let you know the direction of the center of the earthquake. With this prompt information, the emperor could quickly send help to the affected areas. This mechanism relied on a pendulum system that could detect even the smallest vibrations to ensure that the right ball fell into any of the toad's mouths. It was ingenious. Antikythera Mechanism The famous Antikythera Mechanism is one of the most impressive engineering marvels of ancient times. Built in the 1900s, this invention was later discovered in an ancient Greek shipwreck. However, despite being brought to the surface, not much was known about it until several years later. This Antikythera Mechanism was actually a great astronomical clock with a modern analog computer. It had a complex hard crank and could figure out tedious calculations using its mechanical parts. The amazing thing about this mechanism is that it could predict both solar and lunar eclipses. Thanks to the reflections of the position of the sun right on the display at the front of the astronomical clock, you could do this and more. It also reflected the positions of possibly every planet known at the time, and then the moon. No doubt about it, the Antikythera mechanism was extremely complex with its dozens of gears, but it definitely served its purpose. Unfortunately, we have no idea who built this device, but this only adds to the air of mystery and reverence for this ancient technology. Nimrod Lens The oldest lens in the world is a rock crystal lens that once belonged to Nimrod. This Nimrod lens was founded by an English archaeologist in 1850 in the royal palace of Nimrod in Mesopotamia. By the calculations of experts, it should have been at least 3,000 years old, and you could easily mistake it for an advanced microscope of the 21st century. These researchers believe that it was either used by a craftsman who placed some really small inscriptions on Assyrian artifacts, or as part of a telescope due to its threefold magnification. Still, that doesn't take away the sheer magnificence of the Nimrod lens that was far ahead of its time. It was only more than 2,500 years later that scientists were able to conceive the mathematical basis for a spherical services that could have been useful in building this lens. And there you have it. There are some of the ancient technologies that will leave you speechless. Which one's your favorite on list? And what else do you think should have made our list? Let us know in the comments, and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.